Hello, it's Mitchell here at Wakefield Park Raceway, where behind me is what looks to be like a toy car, but trust me, it's far from it. This is an Aussie racing car, a real pocket rocket. Now we're not just here for the car today, we're here for Oversteer's go-kart driver, Seth Wilson, who's getting his very first steer of this car. So. This, this this is a pretty big day for you. Um, so can you tell, what what was your reaction getting the call up saying that, hey, you, you're getting to steer an Aussie racing car? It was the best feeling ever, you know. You've been told you can drive a race car, which is something you've always wanted to do. It was just amazing, yeah. I uh, watch a lot of YouTube videos of other cars going around the track and see the lines and breaking points and all that. I've also been on a simulator with this car and this track. And so that's how I've prepared, yeah. So before Seth, gets let loose in this on the track. Let me just give you a quick run through on what he's exactly dealing with. So this Aussie racing car has been supplied by Western Motorsports Sydney. Um, underneath all the components are control components to keep things uh, parity and keep racing close. The fiberglass body, you can shape it to almost anything you want. Like over the years you've seen Ford Falcon AUs, Holden Commodores, now we've got the Mustang and Camaros racing in the series. Underneath is a screaming Yamaha 1.3 litre twin cam four cylinder producing 100 kilowatts, which in a car that only weighs 450 kilos, it equals to a power or weight ratio of 222 kilowatts per tonne. That's more than a current gen Porsche 911 GTS. 0 to 100 is done in 4.9 seconds and the top speed is over 230 kilometers an hour. In a car of this size, that would be truly terrifying. Seth, mate, what a wild ride that was. You, oh, you, you're ballsy, I'll give you that. Uh, so, obvious question, um, how different is this Aussie racing car to the go-kart you've been racing for the last year or so? Uh, almost every way it's different, just the, the way it behaves, the way it feels, the power it's got, everything's just heaps different really, yeah. Um, and also, this is the first time you've driven a uh, sequential shift uh, gearbox. How did you find that? Um, it's, well, I've never really driven a car at all before this, so shifting at all is what I've got to get used to. But um, sequential shifter, it's pretty fun. It's different, yeah. You've got to push it really hard to get into gear, but it's good, yeah. Pretty much safe to say you're, you're a born natural. So where from here? Like supercars, overseas, F1? Where do you, where do you see yourself headed? Whoever gives me a contract first, hey? <laughs> it's not easy jumping from a go-kart straight into an Aussie racer, as Seth has discovered today. He's had a few mishaps, you might say. It took him a while to get used to the clutch on the gear shifter and shifting gears. He's never done it before. However, he's starting to feel comfortable in the car. He's building speed. I've heard from all the engineers. He's starting to punch out pretty consistent lap times. So he seems like he's got a bit of promise. So I can only say that he's most likely going to get another call up to test an Aussie racing car. And we'll be sure to let you know when he does. Yeah.